Hello friends, this is video number 3 of our series SSL client server connection. In this video we'll talk about the root certificate. Let's enter and understand what's the objectives of the root certificate. The only purpose of the root certificate is to create one or more intermediate certificate. These intermediate certificate signed and trusted by the root certificate. These intermediate certificate will sign and trust other certificates on behalf of the root certificate. Now why we do, do this multi steps? This is the best way to do to protect your root key. Now protecting of the root key and the root certificate we just use them once, once to create the intermediate key after that the root key will not show up at all it will be offline it will be saved in a very safe place because if the root certificate is being compromised whatever certificate you have made with this root key whatever certificate afterward they will all be compromised so it's paramount that you keep your root key in a very safe place once you have created the root key even at the time of creating the root certificate the environment where you create the root the root key is very important like the device where you create this root key should be uh, completely isolated you should disconnect it from the wi-fi disconnect the lan cable from the device if the lan cable have you can unplug you can plug it the entrance of the cable of the lan cable with the device you can plug it with something and close it uh, the, the system you are using like in my case Ubuntu server it should be encrypted with LVM encryption so many steps you should take to make sure that when you will create the root key it will be entirely protected and no one can access to it once you created it you create the intermediate certificate then you have to take it out and save it in a very safe place like in a thumb drive or whatever wherever place suitable now having said that let's start creating the root certificate the first thing is that we need to change to our main directory now remember we are using a sudo user that means sudo command let's create few directories and files that we need them and we will use them later on let's create one touch file This file, in this file, we'll keep track of each and every certificate that have been used. Now we need to make some entry in this file. okay now another file we need to create by the name of serial now each certificate we will create we will give it a serial number we will save all these serial numbers in one file that is called serial so let's create it this is the number I choose for the first certificate you can choose whatever number suitable for you okay now we have created the folders and the files that we need for our work later on let's jump in and to start creating the root certificate the first thing we need to create of course is the root key
I'm using the AES256 algo I'm saving the key in the private folder and I'm using a 4096 bit for encryption this is the code to create your root key give it a passphrase a strong one confirm it now your root key have been created now you need to limit the access to this root only for the the root key you have to limit the access to it only for the root and the way to do that is the ch mode 400 sorry 400 private root key dot pen okay now some people use 600 which means read root can read and write I'm preferring 400 which is root can only read it's up to you totally okay now the next step is that we start taking a look of how our private key looks like so sudo less private root key dot pem okay this is your root key as you can see this is a very long one because we are using a 4096 bit for encryption the next step is that we create our root certificate and the way to do that is sudo openssl request dash config now I will let you know about this flag dash config in a minute open SSL dot CNF and the key that we have just created it then like new like X509 the hashing SHA256 and the extensions which is a very important one v3ca remember in the previous video we said that for each certificate we will use a particular extension in the root certificate we will use this extensions which is v3 underscore ca and finally is the output file which we will put it in the certs folder under the name of root cert dot uh, crt and we will give it a period of uh, 10 years let's say 3650 days this is the line of code that from which you can create your root certificate now why we use this flag dash config now if you don't use this flag when you create this root certificate you will get the configuration the default configuration that is available in here the default ones but if you use this config you can give your these configurations you can adjust them put them as what you wish you will not be used the default configuration that is available in this you can adjust them to whatever you wish I'm uh, just showing you how we can use an altered configuration rather than the default one which is available in this file so this is the key your key and these are the x509 for the extensions and the SHA256 switch for the hashing and the extensions and the file let's create our certificate in this case okay sorry it is days not day <coughs> enter the passphrase now you have to enter the details of your root certificate now it is your details you should do
Now here we come to the common name which is a, an important and, uh, issue. Either you use your server fully qualified domain name or your name. If it's a client's certificate, then you use your name. If it's a server certificate or root certificate, you use a fully qualified domain name. How you can create the fully qualified domain name? You open another terminal. If you do sudo nano slash etc slash hosts enter your password okay now here as you can see this is your server name your host name here you need to enter the <coughs> fully qualified domain name of your server of your website whatever registered in your name for your entity you have to enter it here in my case i will show you that i have one fully qualified domain name which is registered for me okay once you have entered this fqdn you can save it and close it enter then close this line and now you enter your fully qualified domain name in here enter your inf email that's it your root certificate is done next thing you need to do is to limit the access to the root, this root certificate by ch mode make it triple hunt triple four or what whichever you wish search and root cert dot crt once you have limited the access to this root certificate let's take a look about it so we can see how the root certificate looks like usually sudo open ssl x509 no out text the in file is search root search dot crt okay let's see what are the basic things that we need to notice when we see a root certificate the first thing is that the issuer this is the ca in this case and this belongs the common name belongs to this entity the issuer is this entity and the subject is to whom have been issued this certificate in our case of course it's the same the same entity but if you use the intermediate later on if you use the intermediate certificate here it will be the intermediate issuer but here it will be another person another entity the certificate to whom you are signing and trusting the other thing is the uh, algorithm as you can see is RSA F4096 bit but here there is one important thing for the root certificate is that you see CA true if you see a CA true that means your root certificate can sign and trust other certificate you have to make sure that you get CA true once this done that means you already have a root certificate that can sign and trust the intermediate certificate one thing before we finish this video is that to remind you again that once you have done this you need to remove your root key move it to a thumbnail drive move it to an external hard drive whatever to a place where no one can access to it absolutely no one except for you and no one should even knows about where you have saved that root key remember if the root key is compromised every certificate that you have made with this root key is compromised as well 
so be careful with this next video we will create the root the intermediate certificate thank you very much for watching